Thank you everyone for coming today, members of the media and fellow Toastmasters from our esteemed clubs around the world. We are thrilled today that you have joined us for this most ambitious plan that we are looking to implement and something we are absolutely thrilled to bring to you. My name is Colin Bunston. I am the VP of Marketing for International Toastmasters. And today we have an announcement that we're going to unveil to you, the public, which we think is going to revolutionize Toastmasters and really increase the enjoyment and impact that we reach around the world. Now before I get into the details, this has been debated in clubs and in boardrooms over many hours, over the small details and even the big picture. This concept came up about a year ago. At first, almost was brushed aside and not even considered, but through great debate, as in Toastmasters, we spoke about it, everyone had their input, and in the end, we decided this was the way of the future for Toastmasters. So what we are going to unveil next year for Toastmasters is a standard dress code of formal wear for all members in Toastmasters. Now we believe that a dress code in formal wear for all Toastmasters across the board is going to be something that will really elevate Toastmasters image and each individual's success on their own level and club levels. We may have heard the saying, dress for success. Well, we truly believe that. As you may have noticed, I am wearing a suit today. This is one of the higher levels of the dress code that can be purchased. What we're going to be implementing is a dress code for women and men. We're going to have suits, dress shirts, ties, pants, and formal dress for women, which are dresses and formal suits. Now one of the things we're really excited about in this venture is that this is not just something that helps ourselves. We're going to be helping out other communities around the world in this venture. Now one of the communities that we're going to be helping is the country of Brazil. You may have heard that they're deforesting their communities. They've lost a lot of trees that are great for the environment. But what we have discovered is that we can create absolute high quality Egyptian cotton from these deforested areas and create high quality suits and clothing for a cheap price. Now the other aspect is that the actual manufacturing is then done in Sri Lanka with some very talented young people that put these clothes together and overall what we have come up with is a very high quality cheap price formal wear where we're actually bringing money and income into these communities where some of them are actually very hard done by and in return, we have a great product, they have more money into their economy, and we think it's a real win-win situation for everybody. So part of this, what we're going to be doing is, come August, you're going to be able to go online, look at a brand new part of the ordering system to order your clothes, and come September 15th, we will require everyone to have this formal wear where you'll feel very successful. You put on a very great positive presentation to other members, but especially guests as well. We believe that when guests come into a room where everyone is fully dressed to the nines and looking sharp, that these guests will feel that they want to really become part of this club. You may have seen sports teams or other organizations where they have a uniform and people are drawn to that uniform of unity and a group that is excelling as a unit. 
And that is part of our mission to come together as a unit, dress for success, look great, and feel great. And Toastmasters, we will really, really excel our level as an international organization. So at this time, I'd like to take questions from our members of the media. Uh, yes, Kat. I really object to that. I really don't want to be coming to my Toastmasters meeting looking like or feeling like I'm going to boarding school. You know, where I'm all in a uniform. We appreciate your insight, Kathy. There ha we expect that there will be a little bit of resistance in the beginning. Part of it is educating our audience, our members, on what exactly the clothes are, how they fit, the feel of them. We realize that in some contexts, like in boarding schools, where kids were forced to wear a certain type of clothes, maybe they didn't fit well, they didn't have any say. This is more of fitting in with the group and really being part of something that people are happy about. Uh, yes, over here. Yes, what about in countries where the people are very poor, they can't afford a new suit or a new dress? How do you provide equal opportunity for every, every Toastmaster? Well, like I said, the quality of what we're producing in these certain countries has been researched by our board of directors in California where we have looked at the standards and pricing and what we have developed is a very low cost and high quality system and the pricing which will be available in July will display just how affordable it is for anybody across the board. I mean, it's going to be very comparable to just your average clothes. So. Uh, yes, over here. Have you been consulting with Phil, Phil uh, Knight? Phil Knight. Uh, I, I, yes, sir, I do recognize the name. He's from Nike, correct? Yeah, he, he runs sweatshops all over the world that uh, take advantage of uh, people paying low wages and uh, making him fabulously wealthy. It sounds like this is the kind of uh, business model that you're attempting to uh, pursue. I, I just uh, find it repugnant, quite frankly. Well, first of all, we are not actually directly involved with Phil Knight. Uh, we well, I understand really you're not, but you seem, to be, you seem to be modeling yourself after the sort of empire he has uh, constructed. At this time, like I said, I'm not familiar with his uh, unique business model. Uh, ours is something developed in-house. Uh, we're not looking to build, per se, a dollar-based empire. This was strictly based on the needs that we felt met Toastmasters. Uh, and so you don't feel that there's any danger of exploiting people in other countries, in third world countries in particular, then? Actually, on the contrary, we think we're actually helping these communities with uh, increased income, which will in turn uh, be able to build more sk uh, schools, health care, provide more food, and really help out these communities. That's what Phil Knight says. Is that right? Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, two questions. What about people who don't have access to the internet? How do they order? or who are just not computer literate, and how about clubs that, can a club decide to just be, say, a hobo club, like we have Christian clubs or corporate clubs? A, a corporate club, I would imagine, they can wear their corporate wear. How would that work? Well, with regards to the internet, we will actually have an updated catalog that you will be able to fill out a physical sheet and mail it and you will have the option of express mail so the applications will be able to go out quite quickly and in turn the formal wear we have an agreement with UPS and FedEx where the garments will actually be coming to the clubs in quite a quick succession because we realize that this is going to be somewhat of a uh, changeover for everybody and we want to have these clothes 
ready for these clubs for the new season. And we think, uh, I mean, there will be some glitches, but from our, uh, our team, what we have managed with logistics, we believe it will go quite smoothly. So it's a done deal. It's a uh, done deal, sir, yes. So what happens to the charter of a club that decides they don't want to do that? Well, that, uh, that club will, we certainly invite them to talk to headquarters and any issues that they may have. We are certainly uh, willing to discuss those and help them work through this uh, challenge that they may see. And we certainly want to help all Toastmasters clubs succeed and for this to go smoothly and also to present all the positives and why this will work well for all clubs. Well, thank you very much for your time, everybody. That uh, concludes my press conference for the formal dress code for Toastmasters. We are very excited to be unveiling this next year. We'll be having a big grand opening per se next year where we invite you to see more of these fashions rolling out next fall. We really, really are excited about this. Thank you.